there are two modes in the controller script for Bitwig Studio, mixing and sequencing. The mode changes only affect the functions of the 4x4 grid and the top row of the 16x2 grid. There is a shift button that is mostly used in the sequence mode. The sliders, dials, and encoders remain mapped to the same functions regardless of the mode. The left side of the controller is used for mixing tracks and send effects. The right side is used for mixing the effects with the return volumes and three device macros for each effect track. The bottom eight encoders are designed to control and navigate devices on the selected track for tuning your synths and effects. The top four encoders are mapped to sequence feel parameters, so you can quickly generate accent and shuffle for each individual clip. Encoder buttons provide additional common functions, such as overdub enable. Because encoders can move when you press the button, you can also use the shift button to freeze the encoder values when you press the button so you don't disturb those values. The buttons in mix mode are used for track controls for the mixer and to use the navigation to define the 4x4 clip grid and active tracks. The 4x4 grid is used to trigger clips in the clip grid for instant mixing of your tracks. Of course, the rest of the controls are dedicated to expanding your mix with effects and tweaks. Use the mode button to hand off the buttons to sequencing drum machines and instruments. The 4x4 will map to the drum machine or synth depending on what's in the active track. Sequencing is simple. Select a note from the 4x4, then use the sequence toggles to enter in your pattern. For example, if I create a new one bar clip for a drum machine, I can quickly launch that clip, sequence some notes, and even enable overdub with this encoder button to play on top of it, then edit what I just played. I can do this for an instrument too. However, it's probably more productive to use the flip mode to sequence instruments, since you can place notes in a progression more intuitively. This turns step sequencing on its head. Instead of selecting a note and enabling steps, you select a step and enable notes or step.